Let's check out some of the major updates in Photoshop from April 2025. All right, so the first biggest update they made is here, the object selection tool. Now this tool ain't new, but now I can go and hover with the mouse on the model and check this out. It is gonna select the facial futurist separately and of course all the accessories separately. And all you need to do is click on it and it's gonna highlight it. Now, of course, it's not 100% perfect all the time, but you can go and, and select the quick selection tool. Now you can go and just add some more elements on it, if you will, and just complete the selection. I'm going to go back to the object selection tool and here you're going to need to make sure that you're on the cloud. So this is going to give you the best result. Now, if you don't want to hover with the mouse on it, you can go to the select people, select the model. And here you can see it is going to detect automatically the facial futures and elements. All you need to do is select one of it, click on it and click on apply. The next major update is the new hue saturation adjustment panel. They basically implemented right here into the contextual taskbar. Let's click on adjust colors and this is going to highlight the main color on the composition and it's basically targeting the colors separately. For example, I'm going to click on the background color and here you can adjust the hue saturation, switch up the color and work on the saturation and also on the lightness. Now, for example, I'm going to change up the color on the lips. So in this example, you can see it didn't recognize the red color from the lips. But we also can implement that. So I'm going to go and select one of the green colors. I'm going to go with this because we got like two. And I'm going to select the eyedropper tool. Let's click on the lips on the red. And it's going to switch up the green to red. So now I can click on the red and customize it separately. Now as you can see it is going to recolor the skin as well. Because the skin has also red nuances. So if this is not working out for you, you can go and select the object selection tool. And let's go and hover on the lips, select the lips. After we selected the lips, you can go to the hue saturation here that we created before. I'm going to select the mask, click on delete, and I'm going to mask it again. And let's select the hue saturation thumbnail. And here we're going to go back to the red color, click on it, and now you can recolor this separately. So basically this way you can combine the two new tools and make it work out that way. Now there's also another really good feature. So let's check this out. I'm going to select the type tool and they updated the type tool and I'm going to select an area. I'm going to copy paste the text and increase the size. So normally you would need to adjust the text manually here and arrange the words to fit perfectly. But check this out. Now we've got a new feature is here, which is the toggle dynamic text. Let's activate this and check this out. The text that is going to adapt itself into the bounding box and I'm going to try to resize it and it's going to readapt itself. And check this out, this actually looks really good. And this way you can get some type work done really quick. And now but least we got the new action panel updated. And as you can see, everything is the same. Well, this new updated action panel is actually in the Adobe Photoshop beta. So I'm going to switch this to Photoshop beta real quick. So now I'm in Photoshop beta and check this out. Here we got the new action panel. And check this out, here we got like already made actions. These are suggestions based on your images. You also can refresh it if you want. And it's going to show you new actions and recommend you new actions here. And if you go down here, we got the future essentials. And if you hover on these actions, it is going to do it automatically. For example, boost the vibration. I didn't even click this, but it already added the adjustment layer. So I'm going to click on it. And this is how I can apply new actions. You also got the search bar. And check this out. We're going to filter, make it pop. I'm going to click on it. And let's see what happens. And we got like all kind of actions going on that is going to make the photo pop. But anyways, I'm going to search for noise and let's see what we got. And check this out. I actually found the glitch effect. I'm going to click on it and it's going to make it glitchy. I'm going to search for green. Add more noise. And there you go. Click on it and take a look at that. We got a brand new poster. And pretty much these are some of the huge updates here in Photoshop 2025 that were released in April. Thanks for watching.